as a practitioner doing neurofeedback, you're going to come in face to face with circumstances that you haven't addressed in a typical clinical practice. Many, many people starting out will talk with their clients about, I can treat you for this. As neurofeedback practitioners, unless we have a medical degree, we're not treating at all. We're training. It's a very important distinction to make. And it's a mistake that's gotten a fair number of people in trouble over the years from a legal standpoint. That's just one example. Um, practicing outside of the scope of your expertise uh, is another thing that people can get hung up with. You better know what epilepsy is if you're going to be working with somebody that has epilepsy and you better be working really closely with their physician. In the course we'll cover, how do you work with their physicians? Do you bring in a neurologist? How do you do that? There are lots of details that are gonna come up that we haven't experienced when we're doing just traditional psychotherapy.